Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to alter the speed of an audio clip, as well as how to alter the pitch of an audio clip. So let's go ahead and open up our file, slow speech. This is a segment of a failed attempt at a tutorial that I did, and I was just talking very slowly, so I cut off my recording at about 9 seconds. So let me hear, you, let me show it to you as it is. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. Now, for some reason, I was talking very slowly. I think it's because I recorded this one very late at night. So, in order to speed it up a little, we select the entire clip that we want to use. So, in this case, I want to alter the entire clip. So, I'll use Control A on the keyboard, which will select all of it. I'll go to Effect, Sliding Timescale slash Pitch Shift. Okay. So, in the top here, we have two boxes for tempo. Tempo is how quickly or slowly your audio clip is going to play. So zero is obviously no change at all. If we put in a 50, that is one and a half times the speed of the initial clip. So if we put in a 100, that is double speed. You can put in any value in between or higher or lower. And um, so, yep, I'm going to guess that 50%, which is one and a half times, is going to be a good amount, and we'll put in 50 over here as well. I'll explain the initial and final here in a second. But for now, all you need to know is that I want it the same for both the initial and the final. I'll hit OK, and it will process that change. And now we can select Play to hear the increased tempo. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. Alright, so you can tell that it definitely played faster. Uh, maybe a little too fast. You could kind of hear how it distorts your voice a little. So in order to change that, we can go to Pitch Shift, which is just these lower boxes down here. And you will never be able to get it to the initial quality that your audio clip was. So, But you can try and make it sound a little better. To illustrate how the initial and final pitch is different, as well as the initial and final tempo, I'll use the pitch to show you. So. For initial pitch shift, it tells you that you can use from negative 12 to 12. So on the lower end, negative 12, that is a very, very low pitch, which means your voice will sound very, very deep. And if you go to the positive end, that is going to be a very, very high pitch, which means your voice will be very, very high. So let's go from a negative 8 to a positive 6. So if I do this, let's also change this back to zero. Yeah, we'll leave it the same. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that means my voice is going to start very, very low and end very, very high. Audacity is going to do the calculation for us, and it's going to make a steady change all the way across this audio clip. So I'll hit OK. It'll change it. So you can see it got shorter because it's going to sound a little different. So here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. All right, so starts very low and ends very high. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. And of course, you're able to change everything independently of everything else. So I believe I just reversed everything back to normal. Hello everyone. Yep, that's me. Okay, so we can select everything again. Effect. Sliding time scale, scale slash pitch shift. Wow, that was tough. All right, so we're going to keep that at zero because we don't want to change the tempo this time. And then we'll go from negative eight to positive eight on the pitch. Hit OK. All right, and it should start very low and end very high. Hello, everyone. My name is Bodo. And today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. All right. And naturally, you do not have to put different values into these sections here. You can keep them exactly the same. So if I wanted my voice to stay very high the entire time. Hello, everyone. My name is Bodo. And today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic... Nope, that's not going to work. You want to know why? Because we didn't set it back to normal. So file open, slow speech. So it had already saved everything from my previous pitch bend and then it just applied a high filter on top of the low on this end and then the high on this end. 
So let's select everything again. Effect, sliding time scale, 8 to 8. So now we're taking my normal voice and then just making it high. Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today I'm going to show you how to download and edit YouTube's automatic captioning slash subtitles. All right, and there we go. Um, you can use this in a couple of probably useful settings, but you'll more than likely just use it to mess around, which is fine. It's fun to mess around. I've been making my cats meow very high and low, and I've been trying to make them into songs. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.